Today on Uncommon the Good MTG, we are playing Meta Smasher Atraxia by Titanovix. Did your parents have you just so they can have an extra set of organs in around in case of emergency? Stay tuned to find out. Hello and welcome to Uncommonly Good MTG. I am your host, this year's heavyweight mutton buster champion, Dr. Yukon Sockett. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. You are too kind. Yukon Sockett. Worked your mama. So I'm broadcasting to you from my secret underground headquarters, and I'm bringing to you a deck that I found over on the Aether Hub called Best of One Meta, Meta Smasher Atraxia with the exclama exclamation point. I think this is the deck that earns that exclamation point. And it was posted by close personal friend Titanovix, as in somebody I've never met in real life and is uh, communicated through me to me through the comments on this uh, channel. But uh, Titanvix, awesome guy, great decks, and I'm really looking forward to trying out this one. All right, so really quickly, let's take a look at what we got here. We've got uh, Creature Kill, Creature Kill, go get a card, Mana, uh, get yourself a card, Creature Kill, lots of Creature Kills, lots more Creature Kills. Uh, draw a card, I guess is what we'd call it. Pin down something. Kill everything. Uh, what does Eternal Wanderer do? Uh, for each player, choose a creature that player controls. Each player sacrifices all creatures they control. Not so super creature kill. Singular thing kill. And lastly, go get a bunch of stuff and throw it out on your board or in your hand. As well as putting out a creature that's got a bunch of stuff. Flying, Vigilance, Death, Death, Light, Wing. We got a truckload of Trilands and a few other of some other stuff. So it looks like we are controlling the hell out of everything and eventually coming in to take things down. All right, let's take this out and see if we can make it happen. I'm expecting to crush my enemies, see them driven before me, and to hear the lamentation of the women. I've right, been against Peen Scout. Pen Scout. One, two. I don't know. One goes first. Keep. There's a guy. Let's cut him down and throw out another super slow land. All right, here's a guy we can cut down. Put this out, another super slow land. Okay, we have the ability to use Wandering Emperor, so let's just do that. And then your heart drops. Because you know she's here to kill your guy and to make you fear. Oh, from Hell's Heart, I stab at thee. And we win. Victory. Anyone else here? All right, I'm playing against the Joker. That's exactly what the Joker looks like. 
One, two, three, let's keep it. So Leyland Binding is going to come out cheap for us here. Ah, uh, we got what it takes. That's fine. We'll just keep it out. Take a little bit of poison. Farewell at six is the problem. This is the problem with this deck is it is way too it takes too long to get to it. Not that deck, but that card specifically. Alright, so we're up to three. And we'll take the three points of damage for that. All right, so we're getting our way up to six. We got five next turn, six right there. All right, there's five, nothing to play with. So we'll just draw another card at two mana. All right, another super slow mana. All right, but we'll have six next turn. This guy wants to start just shooting creatures is the problem. We're not giving him anything. Got the ability to wipe the board. Okay, so I can't block the flesh forger. Question is will they go after the wandering emperor or come after me? My guess he's going to go after the Emperor. All right, we're just going to go for the full meal deal here. And we're done. Hopefully, I've got the ability to take out some big boys. That's not bad at all. Hopefully, we've, we've crippled him. Uh, now I'm permanent. There's only one. Put some out so I can bounce it.
What's this guy at anyway? Two? Now discard a card. Let's leave that out. I'm going to go for the Devils. Let's just make sure this is going to happen. All attack. Good. What does this thing do? It's in. See, when it attacks, if any player chooses a non land card in your graveyard, returns it card to my hand. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. And we win. It's called control, baby. Victory. I are playing against. Cocozio. Cocozio. That sounds right. Cocozio. All right. One, two, three. And Atraxia. Interesting. We got one card between us and a thousand mana. Mute. All right. Now, the next turn, we can play Cut Down finally. And this guy's playing white, so. This would be really nice when we finally get up to four. Cocosio. All right, let's kill him. Thou shalt not allow lifelink to live unless you're playing with toxic, in which case, who cares, right? Suck it, lifelink. All right, three. We'll get us into no, not that card. It's like it specifically moved cards around on me. Is he playing soldiers here, or is he just part of the of a mono white collection of creatures? Is that even a soldier? It's not even a soldier. So it's not soldiers. It's just life gain with... Oh, we got a fourth mana. I feel so happy inside. All right, and let's draw. Come on, big mana. Mana, 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 mana. Mana, mana. All right, we're good. Field runes actually kind of sucks. I mean, I got a lot of these trilands. If I was him, I'd blow one of them. Sure, why not? What are we getting? Yes. All right, and I can't put it in the land, so we're done. This is what, seven? I'll have six here in a second. That's a five. There's nothing to go after for him, though. All right, this is six. I'm sorry. There we go. Prevent that damage. The damage is prevent his way. Deals damage to damage to any target. I love that kind of crap. Unfortunately, I need a fast mana if I really want to use it. This is just slow mana. Not really helping out. Uh, damage. Yep, that's not going to do me any good. Let's just pin it down this way.
Look at all the colors. It's like a rainbow. It's like a rainbow. And we got another. Perfect. All right, we are all done for the moment. We'll have six men on our next turn. Tracks, you can come out two turns from now. Bank Buster is useless to us, except for as an attacker. Let's take a look at these Elish Norn cards. They're not bad. And I think you put an artwork on your wall. You know, because you like it when people pretty much just have their, their skin ripped off and you just get to see their bloody muscles. Cool. Don't wake the baby. Don't wake the baby. You know, Qbert, I have not fed you in a while. There's some energon for you, my friend. It'd be kind of nice to have a real-life Qbert. Look at him there. What have I done to this guy? It's just one card, I guess, to get rid of something else. And I just pin two down. Dude, if you just let me go, I'll swear I'll attack you with three eyes. Or... Uh, okay. Double rainbow. I guess I could have just put out the Kami War. That would have been nice. All right, here we go. Burning down the house. Pilot jumps in the cockpit. We're ready to go. Specific rim time, baby. All in. All in, I said. Don't wake the baby. All attack. Pow, 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 pow. 13. This is a long way to go before I can draw some blood. Look at that. We're up to like seven mana. He's going to hate uh, Traxia coming out. Like He kind of has that feeling like he's going to play a farewell. No, nope, he's just going to give up. Dang it, man. Boom, boom. Goes the room. Victory. All right, playing against Ilkasdi. 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 All right, whatever. One, two, three. Bunch of different colors there. All right, let's keep it. I have faith. I got to tell you, I have faith in this deck. All right, that, that goblin can shush. All right, two mana. What color is my plane here, by the way? Black, green, red. No white. All right, let's put out a treasure troll. Okay, so I can't play any of these. This is the only card I can actually play. Except for this guy can make some stuff for me. That's not bad. Let's 
No, I really like what I got. I think we can make it work. I've already come up with plans how to deal with it. All right, we're good. What does this guy do again? He's just a mana snake. This guy's laying it down. So he'll have six. Pretty soon, have Topiary Stomper open. Unfortunately, my plan involves wiping the board, which means taking out my own Kiki Jiki and the like. Okay, is he willing to sack for it? Nope. I think he's getting an additional there we go we're gonna have to blow both our things away to do it yeah i just feel like being a jerk that sounds like fun oh he's not tapped oh see jesus no I can just flash it and it's fine. Let's just do that. Out of pay! Alright, it's time to burn down this house. He's gonna get a guy. That's how much is it worth? The number of lands you control? That's not cool. Lay down the arms? Not gonna do it for me. The Wandering Emperor will. Let's start off with this. Put the bolt in. All right, let's burn down this house. Cool things we can just lay line bind, can't we? All right, let's go see if we can dig up mana. One, two, three, four, five. I don't have any white, huh? All right, let's keep digging. There's some white. All right, when he attacks, we'll just wandering emperor him. If I said, I'd probably give up about this point. Sorry, man. I'm just being rude. I'm being super rude.
One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, there's a seven. Let's throw out a Traxia. What are we gonna bring back here? Anything good? Nope, I win. Touchdown, Lava Bears. All right, so here we are with uh, Titanovix's Meta, Meta Smasher 4000. Uh, maybe it wasn't named that exactly, but that's definitely the marketing term I'd use for it. Um. Yeah, when I when I pulled this deck out and put it together, I just thought, look, it looks interesting. There's a bunch of I knew it was five colors, mostly because of the Kami War. What is this deck otherwise? It's a little bit of blue, but I'm not gonna even count that. Mardu, I guess, is what it looks to be mostly. Yeah, it's five C. So it's a five C just ultra control deck, is what it is. You just it's all about just key, killing anything they put out. Put out a Planeswalker, just exile it. Put out some creatures, wipe them all out. Just just death, 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 and it, it's wonderful that way. If you're if you're in a mood where you're just tired of other people, man, this deck feels so good just to prevent it all from happening. Now, there is a there's a drawback to it. This deck is kind of slow between the incredibly slow lands that you have a trillion of. And the fact that everything at the low end doesn't really do anything aggressive. Um, it is a slow deck and you got to control it. So the only problem I had with this deck is going up against Mono Red. Mono Red was too fast. And while eventually it felt like this deck was going to get its feet. Usually by that point you were down to like five or six life. And they just would fireball you or lightning blast you to the face a couple times. And you'd be dead. So there's not any like life gain. I mean, there is Wandering Emperor does give you two life when you exile something, but I think that's about it. There's just not any life gain. The only thing you got in here is, is lay down arms where you're giving life to your opponent, and that kind of sucks. So um, I guess you got life gain from the Celestis, but there's only one of them in there. It just doesn't come out that often. So yeah, the lack of life gain really, really hurts. If anything that we need to change, I would try to find a better way of infusing some life into the mix here. Life gain dudes, I don't know, something. But regardless of that, this deck got some excellent numbers. Uh, let's see, I played in the, the play category, I've got an 80% win rate with it right now. Um, the pro I don't, don't really want to talk about what happened in Constructed, just because it was two red decks and then another deck, which, which we see the video for. Uh, the red decks, like I say, were this deck's bane. So other than that, this deck seems to wipe everybody off the board. As a matter of fact, the only game I lost in play was to another mono red ace deck. That's the, that's the, that's the only thing this deck seems to have an allergy to. All right, so is this deck competitive? Yes, I think it is quite competitive. Uh, it doesn't do good against aggressive mono red decks. Maybe you'd have a problem with aggressive black decks. I don't know, maybe even white might have a problem with that too. Just, you know, aggressive decks that can pretty much win a game in four or five turns. That's where this deck's going to have some problems. But if you got somebody that's playing a mid-range deck or another control deck, this deck is going to be really good against them. Uh, number two, was this deck fun? Um, you know, if you think it sucks to just sit there and destroy anything anybody puts out, then no, it's not very fun. But if you think that is a fun thing to do, this deck is tons of fun. And I got to say, I played it with a smile on my face the entire time. So I'm going to say, yes, this was a fun deck. It was a fun deck. I did enjoy board wiping. Board wiping. Uh, let's see. Lastly, was this deck interesting? And yes, it was interesting to me. Um, mostly because I wanted to see what was going to happen when Atraxia came out. I thought that was going to be cool. Um, looking back upon it, I think I was more interested just because I'd never seen a deck like this. And it just, I didn't have any idea what it was even going to do. And I just started playing it once 
And it was like, oh, look at this. I'm killing this creature. I'm killing that creature. Oh, I'm wiping the board. I'm wiping the board again. I'm wiping everything out with a farewell. I'm wiping out this other thing. Oh, look at me. There's nobody, nothing standing against me. I can do whatever I want. That was what was interesting is watching the deck come together because the deck played itself. It knew how to wipe the board and it could do it. And it played five colors like it was nothing. So it was interesting to play the deck. I would say I did like it. I did find it interesting. All right, so it's competitive. It was fun and it was interesting. I'm forced by law to say that this is an A plus deck. It is so choice that I've got to recommend that you pick it up should you have the means. That is all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. From all of us here in the secret underground headquarters of Uncommonly Good MTG, have a great day. In the words of my people, shine on, you crazy diamonds. Later. <laughs>